So what's best? Tab, notation, or playing by ear? In this video, I'm going to explore these three methods. I'm going to talk a little bit about the history, and then I'm going to go into the pros and cons of each. So when I first started playing bass, it was around 98, 99, and I used to get all my tabs from ultimateguitar.com. It's really easy to get started with tab. The horizontal line represents the string, the number represents the fret, and the movement of left to right represents the passing of time. And even adapt it to show rhythm. Although let's be honest, the majority of tab users are not looking at that. I certainly wasn't anyway. Tab is short for tablature, which comes from the Latin word tabulatora. Tabula is a table or slate in Latin. To tabulate something means to put it in a table or a chart. First known use for tabs was around the 1300s, so it's been around for a long time. It's mainly been used for guitar-like string instruments, such as the French and the German lute in the 1500s. The first known use for tabs was on the organ in the 1300s, so it's been around for a long time in some form. The main benefit of tab is, instead of telling you what notes to play, it tells you where to play on your instrument. So this means every tab can be made specific to your instrument or tuning system. This is great for the beginner because notation and learning by ear do not provide this information. I mentioned that you can add rhythm, which is great because if you learn how to read rhythm, then you're partially learning how to read notation. Unfortunately, there are some downsides to tab. It's not possible, as far as I'm aware, to sight read it in the same way you would notation. So for that reason, you won't find it on professional gigs such as pit band or cruise ship work. Another issue is that the majority of tabs on websites or even in books are mostly incorrect. You can find decent ones and a lot of the websites offer a star rating system, but even then it's not guaranteed they will be 100% correct. A lot of the textbooks out there do not contain tabs, so you might get recommended a good book, only to find inside is just music notation. So you do hear a lot of hate towards tabs. Uh, this usually comes from more experienced musicians. Uh, I have to disagree. When you start out, tabs are a great tool to get you up and running. But if you have aspirations to move beyond the beginner standard, or you want to work towards becoming a professional musician, then I would recommend moving away from tabs and learning how to read and write notation and learn by ear. So on to notation. There are several examples of very primitive forms of music notation. In the 9th century, we see the beginning of a form of notation that somewhat resembles what we use today. This form of religious music is known as plain chant. Bonus fact, many people call this Gregorian chant, but historians now believe that Pope Gregory had no involvement in the creation of this music, and the more pedantic among us now refer to it as plain chant or Christian plain chant. So before they started to write this monophonic music down, monks would have to sing it every day so they wouldn't forget it. Fast forward a few centuries and we see that notation has developed into a much more sophisticated system. A piece of sheet music will tell you the range of notes, the time signature, the key signature, the specific rhythms, the rests being played, the pitches, the articulations and the dynamics. For me, the main benefit of being able to read notation is that you'll be eligible to play different types of gigs. And more gigs means more money, more money means more basses. I found that there are not that many sight reading bass players out there, so learning how to sight read will enter you into a smaller pool of musicians and therefore having a better chance of a sustainable career. Another benefit that not a lot of people talk about is the ability to visually conceptualize music. Music's a pretty abstract idea. Having a way of visualizing rhythm and pitch helps us organize our thoughts and ideas. For me, this has been the most valuable thing about learning notation. There are folk out there who say that notation isn't relevant in modern pop music, but my guess is that they've not had the experience of the freedom that mastering notation gives you. Some other advantages of music notation are 
The ability to write your music down for a gig and then store it for future gigs so you don't have to memorize it. Although notation can be manipulated to show you where to play on your instrument, it's often not. And for someone who is not that experienced, this might be a problem. As you learn about your instrument, these choices will become second nature. So if this is you, then stick with it, as it will get easier. One of the dangers of just using notation is it may stop you from being able to improvise. Most of the time, classical musicians will learn to play their instrument via the use of written music. This enables them to have what seems to someone like me, superhuman abilities to sight read music. However, there is a trade-off. Many of these musicians do not have the ability to improvise. I am generalizing here, obviously, but I don't think I'd enjoy music if I was reading all the time. Another downside is it's hard. You can pretty much figure out what's going on with Tab straight away, but looking at notation for the first time is like looking at Mandarin script. Unless you're Chinese, of course, then it would be easy. I remember when I first started playing, I got this book as a gift from my parents one Christmas. It's, it's the complete electric bass player by none other than Chuck Rainey. I had no idea who Chuck Rainey was at the time, but I opened it to find just notation. So unfortunately, I, I, I was scared away from that book. I recently found it in their loft and realized it's a great book. As far as I'm aware, there's not a resource available like there is for tab, so you can go on the internet and pretty much get any tab you want. But with notation, you might have to buy a specific book or go to a specific website. It's just not as readily available. If you are interested in learning to read music, I use this book to get me started. It's pretty good. I also recommend getting hold of some musical scores. Uh, the musicals Grease and Little Shop of Horrors have some great bass parts. So as I mentioned before, once upon a time, learning music by ear was the only way to learn music. Early blues and folk musicians would pass their music on from memory. This was also the done thing in the American jazz scene. I think it's one of the main things that separates classical musicians and jazz musicians. Classical will learn and pass on their music via notation and jazz and pop musicians playing by ear. I truly believe this is the most valuable skill a musician can learn. Not only does it mean you don't have to rely on dodgy tabs or not readily available notation, but I think it's just a more enjoyable and rewarding way of playing music. It may feel quite hard to get up and running when learning to play by ear, but my advice is to just take it one note at a time. On day one, you might only figure out one note of a song. On day two, you would figure out two notes. And then day three might be a whole bar. Before you know it, you're a transcribing wizard. I could also mention DAWs and MIDI. They are the modern way of recording music. I've not really heard of anyone using this to learn music though, so I'll not bother discussing this today. So what do I recommend? If you just play music for fun now and again, then there's nothing wrong with tabs. Ignore the naysayers. If they provide you a happy experience, just keep on doing it. The only thing I'd say is just be cautious of the incorrect information that's out there. If you want to take your musicianship to the next level, then I definitely recommend playing by ear. You'll achieve more musical freedom by doing this, and you'll just become an all-around better and happier musician. If you have aspirations of becoming a professional player, then I would recommend learning notation and possibly even how to sight read. If you're interested in learning how to transcribe music or sight read music, I will be releasing some videos on these topics in the future, so hit the subscribe button to get notified when that happens. Thanks very much. Thank you.